Hi there. Now, in this question, we're asked to show that the commutative distribution function, capital F here, of t is given by this equation here. And I'm assuming that you're familiar with commutative distribution functions. If not, very quick guide back to this, but you can get more detailed explanations if you just go on my website okay, and look for the tutorials on that. But essentially, f of t is the probability of being less than or equal to a given value of t. And on this probability density function, remember this is the sketch of f of t here, um, did it in the first part of this question. If this is a point t, say, there, then f of t is the probability of being less than or equal to this given value of t. And that's represented by the area to the left of t. So this would be f of t. f of t then is equal to the probability of t being less than or equal to t. So what I need to do is consider this interval here between 0 and 9. Okay, so let's just say when t is in between 0 and 9 inclusive. So f of t will be equal to this area, which we can get from integrating our probability density function between 0 and t. Now, we've got the constant c here, which in a moment I'm just going to take out the front of the uh, integral, okay? But uh, for the moment, it's the integral of 1 over 486 times 81 minus t squared. This is integrated with respect to t going between 0 and t. Just squeeze that in there. I hope you can see that, okay? And now, if I pull out that constant, 1 over 486, integrate the 81 minus t squared. Didn't look like a t squared there. We'll just change that to t squared. Integrating that, we get 81t minus t cubed over 3. That's between the limits then of 0 and t. And... What I'm going to get is just 81t minus t cubed over 3 when I replace any t's in here with t and then subtract the 0. So we just got 1 over 486 multiplied with 81t minus t cubed over 3. And if you multiply through by 1 over 486, what you get is t over 6 minus t cubed over 1458 and that is this part here for t between 0 and 9. Now for these ones here if t is less than 0 okay down here the probability of getting any value less than 0 is going to be 0. Now if t is greater than 9 the probability of being less than 9 minutes or more is guaranteed to be 1 because the area to the left of any value over here encompasses all of this area here within the curve. So we should be able to put that down. So I've only worked out the middle part here. So leave it up to you just to fill in those two. And hopefully... That gives you some idea how to do that part of the question.